Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for January 2020 for the sign of Capricorn. So, this is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up for the month of January. Okay? So, what do we. Remember, this is a preview, it's not January yet. So what do we got for January for Capricorn? Oh, well, uh, well, the Ten of Cups, that's about a relationship. We have a relationship that is on the rocks. This is a challenge. Okay, I'm going to put this back in the deck because it came out sideways like this and I don't know which way to take it. So um, we, have a, we have a relationship that is... We have a challenging relationship here, okay? It's on the rocks. It's like... Um, there's probably an opportunity for happiness, but somebody has to find peace within themselves. There's a lack of peace. There's a lack of harmony here. There's somebody is, um, there's relationship problems, put it that way. But there's, and this relationship could be with anybody. Okay. We have relationships with all kinds of people. Okay. So there's an opportunity to heal a relationship, but... It's not happening because somebody is dealing with some challenges and I think they're dealing with challenges within themselves about what is happiness. I mean, what is happiness anyway? So let's put it back in the deck and keep going. Um, now, tens are completions, upright or reversed. Okay, so we, have a, we need something that needs to end, something that needs to end within a relationship or has ended. Okay, and there's there may be a need to heal. Okay, because of a completion. I mean, tens are completions. That's a fact. Okay, for we have somebody who's really discontent. Okay, somebody that is really not seeing that there's an opportunity here. It's like this person is so upset. That all they can focus on is a loss. Not realizing that there is an opportunity. Like there's love there. That's a, that's a gift right there. There's love. But this person is so upset that they can't see it. They can't see. They're just missing the, they're missing the fact. They're missing. That is a fact. There is love. But this person can't see it. Because they're focused on uh, a loss of a relationship. Okay. That's what the Three of Cups is. So we got somebody here who's really not seeing. They're missing something. Now the magician is a card of being willing. It's willingness to shed the old to bring in the new. Okay? This person is having a hard time. A really hard time. I think this person knows that they have to do something, but they, they can't find the resources within them to do so. Now, this is, a, this is a new opportunity. It's like you have an opportunity to manifest something new, but you have to be willing. You have to be willing to take action. You have to be willing to accept change. You have to be willing to try new things. So we have somebody here that's being very stubborn by the looks of things. There is definitely... A new opportunity. This is beginning to realize. In the upright, it's grieving. So you may have been through a period, a separation of some sort. And there's been some grieving. There's been some sadness. There's been some regrets. There's been um, a feeling of... Now we got the Three of Cups here as well. So here we got it here. It's like somebody has really been focused on a loss. But this is this is beginning to realize that it's time to take action. It's time to... Or it's, it's knowing that there's something else. There's a bigger reason for this. Um, this is a card of recovery. Um, maybe somebody may be going through some sort of recovery after a loss. After a painful separation of some sort. This is like beginning to realize the truth. After being very stubborn and not, and choosing not to see. Page of Wands. Somebody was dealing with or is dealing with somebody that is very childish. Somebody that is petty. Somebody that has nothing good to say. Somebody that is negative. This is your negative Nelly, negative Nancy. Okay, this is somebody who... Um, like is miserable and likes to bring other people down. Now this is also not good news. Okay, so somebody that is just isn't good news. This could also be have to do with a child. 
There's no growth here. There's poor health. Justice. This is unfair. This is unfair. Or this is a legal matter not going in your favor. That's what it is. Okay. I'm, I can't. It is what it is. I can't make that up. That is a legal uh, situation not going in your favor. Okay. This could also be bad karma. Okay. And this is somebody who doesn't follow through with tasks. Somebody that gets angry very easy. Somebody that acts impulsively. Mean-spirited. Hmm. Ooh, this is consequences. This is consequences right here. So this is karma and this is consequences. So somebody may be suffering from some karmic consequences for poor choices that they have made in the past. This is poor choices, okay? This is becoming clear, seeing a situation clearly. There could be, you know, somebody, karma or a higher power or the justice system or the legal system that sees the situation as it really is. This isn't healthy. This is some, this is a manipulator. The magician is a manipulator. You think about magic, it's manipulation, okay? So somebody may have been trying to manipulate because they're so angry. Now we have the sun card. Now this may have to do with a child, but this is a card of rebirth. It's a card of healing. It's a card of enlightenment. And this is becoming awakened as somebody may be going through some sort of awakening after being involved with a negative person who caused them some bad karma or you caused yourself or something uh, caused them a loss of something because we have a loss here with the three of cups, both of them. So this is regaining health, regaining vitality, starting to shine again. But this is a loss of love. Oh my God, a loss of emotional fulfillment. Now this could be a child who's not getting the love that they need. This is a loss of love. It is a loss of emotional fulfillment. This is shutting down emotionally. You could have been dealing, or somebody could be dealing with somebody that doesn't even know what love is. Well, interesting to say the least. It's like this person, there's an opportunity for freedom, but that somebody can't break free. They cannot break free. It's like there's there's the doorway. There's the, there's freedom, but you have to find the ability to break free from an unhealthy situation. You have to. You have to get out of this situation somehow. So somebody is is keeping themselves bound. They're not they're not doing everything they possibly could do, or they're tied to this situation because of karma. There are, it's like somebody has to break free from this situation. So, wow, somebody is sabotaging their own, this is, this is success and this is sabotage. It's like, I just, I, freedom, it's like freedom is in reach or it's not in reach, but you, you have to do whatever it takes to break free from this unhealthy situation, whatever it takes. There's a man and a woman here. This woman is very attractive. She's uh, very passionate. Could be a fire sign. I noticed by the red hair. Somebody may be addicted to a fire sign or obsessed. This is obsession. It's a manipulation. Could be two people here that are trying to manipulate. And it could be, it could be even a child because it's going right here. This could also be using a child because it's going right here to manipulate another person interesting um but this is a card of obsession manipulation ego there is something that is being hidden somebody is choosing the wrong things based on pride could be dealing with a leo could be dealing with a gemini a Libra. 
This person is very power, powerful. This person has the power. <laughs> this is toxic. Very toxic, unhealthy energy. And it's like they, they want the it's like they want the happiness. I want happiness. It's like there's the light, okay, light versus darkness. So we have we have a choice here, okay? You can choose the light or you can choose the darkness. Somebody has been choosing to stay in the darkness. But there's an opportunity to go to the light. But the only way that you can go to the light is to break free from this dark situation that is based on lust, obsession, ego, pride, sex. So Capricorn, I feel like there's an opportunity for happiness, but somebody just can't get there. Because you have to find the resources within you to release. Remember, I explained this card. You have to, to release addictions, obsessions. This is finding the resources to let go, to bring in something better. But we got somebody here that is so stubborn. They are so stubborn that they just can't see that all that matters is love, not ego, not proving, not being obsessed. All that matters is love. It's like we can't, we got somebody here that just doesn't know what love is. So the page of swords, this is a message that is going to be delivered. Okay. There is going to be a message that is delivered that causes somebody to feel conflicted. Okay. Um, there's going to be an honest, truthful message. Okay. And I, I do believe it has to do with a child. It could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius child. Doesn't have to be, but this is a communication. This is somebody who speaks, speaks the truth could be a child that speaks up doesn't have to be a child could be anybody could be a uh, it looks like it's a female could be a female child doesn't have to be but this is um somebody that speaks up tells the truth six of wands now the six of wands this is a protector could be protection because this is the this is the leader this is the leader of the troops okay this, this is this is a protector. This is somebody who is very experienced. So it feels to me like somebody is going to be telling the truth to somebody. This person is very admirable. This person is admirable or whatever you want to call it. This person is highly respected. This person has earned the title that they have and their title is that of a boss or a leader or somebody in authority. Somebody that is able to make decisions. So I feel like somebody is like telling somebody something. It's like your, your tattletale. And this is a loss of emotional fulfillment. But this, this is... Um, making progress or going someplace, being recognized. Somebody is going to be recognized or somebody is recognizing something about a third party situation. Now this could be a reunion of some sort. Somebody may be reuniting with somebody. This is out celebrating. Now this is drinking as well. This person could be telling of addictions. If somebody has been out drugging and drinking and there's children around, the child could tell. Just saying. Tell somebody, you know, in a superior role and it gets them in trouble. Just be careful with that. Um, this three of cups, this is a third party situation or it's out celebrating, it's out having fun, socializing. For some of you, if you are single, you may be out socializing and somebody enters, somebody enters your life and you start communicating with this person. For those of you that are single, you could be out, you know, having fun with your friends. This is a victory after sorrow. But you have to go through the war zone first to get a victory. 
Page of Cups. Some of you are dealing with a child here that needs love or you need love. This is an opportunity for love. It really is. After not being loved, the Ace of Cups reversed. It's like there's an opportunity for love here. And it's a big, bright opportunity for love. It is. So somebody is getting, this is a new beginning. They have a new opportunity for love if they choose to let go of the unhealthy situation. It's going to take strength and it's going to take a lot of willpower to break free from this toxic situation. You're going to have to find those resources to break free from it. Somebody is in a, in a, has some addictions that are ruling their life. Anyhow, this is a new opportunity for love. This could be Cupid bringing somebody love. Cupid to the rescue or an angel to the rescue. This is like somebody coming to the rescue. Somebody is coming to the rescue and they're rescuing somebody from a toxic, unhealthy situation. So somebody is being rescued from an unhealthy situation. That's what I see. For some of you, you could, if if you are in a happy relationship, I don't know why you're watching tarot readings, but if you're in a happy relationship, you could, this could be a proposal or your relationship could be stepping it up to the next level for some of you. Um, this is some sort of reunion. There's going to be a reunion here, but there's, there's, this is uh, something not going in your favor in regards to the judicial system. Okay. A legal a, fit, a legal affair not going in your favor, okay? There's definitely children here or, or a child, 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 child. So we definitely have something to, and a child here too. So somebody made some poor decisions. Now there's some consequences. Their poor decisions may involve drinking or drugging or addictions, Okay. Now, this is your wounded warrior. So this is a card of perseverance and hard work. You may find yourself on your own. Okay? You may find yourself on your own. After, maybe there's a third party situation that gets revealed. Or somebody reunites with somebody from their past and now you're on your own. Somebody may be on their own. After going through a battle... We definitely have somebody here that is wounded. Because this is wounded and this is wounded. Okay. Somebody acted recklessly. Or they are going to be acting recklessly. They may be, you know, biting off more than they can chew. Or not looking at before. Not looking before they leap. And they could get themselves into trouble. This is reckless behavior. While drinking. Or while partying. Be careful if you're out doing that. There's going to be a decision that is made. This is the moment of decision. It's your choice. Everything is your choice. The power is in your hands. The, the choice to move forward and explore is up to you. Or you can stay stuck. What's it going to be? Somebody has been acting foolishly. They've been naive. They've probably been taken advantage of by another person. They've allowed it. But this is... And there's un, something, an element of unfairness here. This isn't fair. It's not fair. It's not fair, but somebody didn't want to be held accountable for their actions. And you can't... It doesn't work like that. Now we have two paths with the two of wands. This is another restless, this is, we have a restless energy here. It's like we have somebody that doesn't know what they want to do. They're, they're really confused. But I think that there's going to be some sort of universal law or karma or, or decision that is made that chooses for you, it chooses, you know, it chooses the direction. 
This is seeing a situation clearly. Somebody has acted foolishly. And it's like somebody, it's like there's no going back. Somebody, it's like somebody wants somebody to come back and there's no going back. Trying to come back, trying to go back. It's like I just want that person to go back and that's why they're hanging on. Eight of Cups reversed. I feel like... Let's get another card. King of Cups. Somebody doesn't have good intentions. There's definitely drinking here or addictions that are causing somebody to lose their uh, stability. Put it that way. They're, they're, there's a lack of emotional fulfillment here. Somebody is burying their feelings with addictions. And now there's going to be a loss or there is a loss of loss of something they loved because you can't you can't wear that mask you can't bury those addictions forever okay somebody's been trying to bury something and um, somebody's been dealing with a person that doesn't have good intentions this person is withdrawn we do have a withdrawn energy uh, somebody may be feeling like they just don't want to talk they don't want to communicate. They just want to withdraw from the world. Um, because whoever they were holding on to, maybe they aren't coming back. They want them to come back. Three of Pentacles. This is a card of working together, teamwork. Um, proving yourself. If somebody needs to pr prove themselves and put in effort to regain stability they have a long ways to go and they need to let go of the addictions and it's going to take a shitload of strength and stamina and perseverance to do that so i think capricorn this is a month of regaining your health after being in a toxic unhealthy situation um Finding the strength and the resources within you to uh, realize the truth about a situation and deal with the consequences of some actions. So, I see regaining health and finding your perseverance to overcome this uh, decision that is unfair to to you you have to make better choices in the future with that card um, and be able to work together with people this is work together you got to work together with people you know it's not a one way or the highway it's about teamwork um, I feel like uh, it is a month of healing for you it's a month of uh, recovery and I think that you are manifesting a new opportunity or you will be as soon as you I mean this is you have to break free from this toxic situation once you break free you have the power it's like once you let go of these addictions once you break free from this unhealthy situation could be with a fire sign could be with a leo this is a leo this is a leo i don't know who it is but that's what it looks like to me once you break free could be anybody from this situation it's like you get the power you get the power back so this is an opportunity for you to find the strength, the resources, the capability within yourself <laughs> you will be recognized you'll be recognized for your strength and your stamina <laughs> when you break free from this situation you will gain respect. But refusing to see, 
refusing to see that there that love is what matters <laughs> is going to continue to bring you strife And it's going to continue to sabotage your success. I think it's going to be an emotional month. And you may feel cold. You may feel alone. For some of you, yes, you are going to feel alone. But there's a need to heal from within. And make better choices for the future. Anyway, good luck. That's what I got for January. I feel like January is a month of compromise, communication, teamwork, and proving yourself. Good luck.